Got the summertime love. I work for your heart all night to the dawn. You stay with they switch stars. I know you're the one. They go and they come. You like the summer breeze. Do the trees. You like a getaway. Shoot with me. You like the summertime love. You like the summertime love. I pull up to your spot in the evening. All right, you guys, so now that we have everything we need, we need to obviously put on the skirt. This is a skirt I got at either Goodwill or the Salvation Army last year and just never got around to doing anything with it. Um, so right now I'm just showing you kind of like what it looks like. I really love the coloring of the skirt and how it kind of looked like peacocky so you can kind of see that the front is longer than the back mainly because of that hump that i have on my backside. so um i just wanted to show you guys that but now i'm just mapping out kind of like where i want to cut so i'm going to take these fabric scissors once again i had these a long time ago and they were quite expensive when i first bought them but definitely worth the purchase um, since I've been using them quite a bit for the past two years. So I've already slit where I want it to cut. So I'm just going to lay it out flat and just cut. I'm not being very precise with this. If you want to be really precise, you can. You can take a ruler or whatever it may be. But honestly, I was just kind of cutting and just going along with it. Um, it, it turned out all right, if I say so myself. <laughs> um, but if you decide to be more meticulous, by all means, definitely do that. You definitely want to keep this bottom half for later. So just put that to the side. Then you want to flip the skirt inside out. And we're going to start tacking it. So you could obviously leave the bottom of the skirt just like this. But I'm taking some liquid stitch. Um, I got this probably about a year or two ago as well. And I'm shaking it up because you have to shake it. Up, and then I'm going to start squeezing it towards the bottom of the hem of the skirt so this is just going to kind of like um, hem up the skirt without sewing that's why it's called liquid stitch it's way easier however if you do know how to stitch and sew definitely do that it'd probably be better for the long haul like long haul long haul long haul like if you're gonna keep the skirt for quite some time it definitely be better for that but I'm gonna take my little my little tacks and just push them through just to hold the bottom of that hem in place and I'm also pushing up the back part of the skirt so that way it doesn't stick onto it but fold that piece up and then press it down your fingers will get nice and sticky so um, be ready for that it does rub off but um, and then just fold it over and then press it down and then add a little like stick pin in it to hold it in place so I'm going to continue to do that all the way around the entire bottom half of the skirt um, it, it is tedious but it is so easy you guys it's so easy to do it's literally like liquid stitch fold it up and then use some stick pins and that's pretty much it so I'm just going to fast forward through the rest of this part and then I'll be back when it's time to move on I said you're the one and I mean it. I mean it. I mean it. I told my baby we can do what you want. Take the stress away from what you've been going through. Cause there's one thing on my mind and it's always you. Yeah, it's always you. Feet up, palm trees, sundress, daiquiri. Where you look at me is staggering. Where I break out, sunsets, factory. Where I look at you like you got the summertime love. I work for your heart. They come, you like the summer breeze Do the trees, you like a getaway Shoot with me, you like the summertime love You like the summertime love uh, All four seasons, I've been chasing you I'm Running around the subject, I'ma find the truth, yeah Playing it cool, yeah, but I'ma wear the fruit, yeah Calling me a boy, hey, can we make it boo, yeah. I feel the heat like a summer show Running out of words, running out of choices 
chill, it's just a trap. Yeah. She a little bad. Okay, so now that we're done, we just want to place this to the side. Don't bring it inside out because it needs to sit for 30 minutes for it to be non-water soluble, which means that the water won't undo the stitch. So you just kind of want to be careful and put it to the side and let it kind of like tack together. So the excess part of the skirt, I decided that first I wanted to do kind of like a little like a little tie, like a little um, like a little belt. And then uh, at the last minute, I was like, eh, no. So I just cut down um, vertically down the skirt. And then I decided I was going to do kind of like a hair tie type situation. And it turned out so cute, you guys. So once again, just cut down. And then I'm going to um, take that and cut all the way across horizontally. I figured that I didn't want it to be too wide. So this is me just kind of figuring out like how wide excuse me how wide I want it to be and I just decided maybe about like that's probably like what two to three inches or so don't quote me because my mathematics and my measurements maybe that's not my strong suit <laughs> so um yeah just go ahead and cut all the way across and then I'm gonna figure out how it fits onto my ponytail so I had a little up like half up half down situation going so i just tied it onto there and then i just took the same fabric scissors and snipped off i kind of wanted it to be even um across so i just kind of snipped it where the little uh, beads were on my braid on my twist and then i'm just going to take those off and place them back on the floor and then i'm going to liquid stitch this as well because i took it towards the bottom of the skirt the bottom half was already hemmed um from it being the bottom of the skirt so I just needed to hem up the top part just to make sure that it didn't look raggly or straggly because even though this is um, a skirt, it can still fray and I'm not I'm not into that fraying look. So um, I, I just didn't want that. So um, yeah, so I'm going to flip it over to the other side and then once again, take the liquid stitch and then I'm going to fold it over and tack it. So because the ends aren't um, hemmed already I need to do those as well so I just did the first maybe like I don't know like five inches or so four or five inches and then folded that over and then I'm going to put a little stick pin in it or tack or I don't know what these things are called I think they're called stick pins um, just to hold it and then I'm going to do the end but I wanted to make sure that I had the first part of it um, kind of like folded in and stitched in before I fold over the ends. I just thought that it would be better if I folded the ends last as opposed to first um, and it just turned out pretty well. So now I'm just adding it towards the end. I'm going to fold it a little bit and my folds aren't that wide. I kept them pretty narrow um, as thin as possible kind of like how a regular stitch would be and yeah, one more stick pin and then you could just go ahead and keep moving down the rest of this little um, ponytail thing. But also I'm taking scissors right now and just cutting off the excess from the end of that fold just to make sure that nothing is kind of hanging off. And I was really meticulous about this part because I don't know, I just want it to be, to be kind of perfect, you know? <laughs> How you like that? She a little bad. It's a little... Okay, so now that we're done with the skirt and the hair tie, I'm just going to throw away the scraps and I'm going to take the skirt and the hair tie and just, I'm going to place it onto my desk and here I am, you can just see me going through and I'm taking out all of the stick pins and then I'm going to put on the skirt and so we can see the final look. How you like that? How you like that? She a little bad. Mm. Yeah. Shawty, you bad, you know it. I'ma 
Okay, so this top I also got from um, Goodwill or Salvation Army. I can't remember which place that I got it from, but it's like a silk blouse. Um, and then it just went perfectly with the skirt. Uh, the skirt also needed to be ironed, but we're not going to look at that. But I just pulled this top all the way down. But this is the completed skirt, you guys. I think it turned out so cute. Um, I actually pulled it over my belly, so it was kind of like right underneath of my boobs. And it just looked really cute. Like, the pictures turned out so cute. Everybody loved it i hope you guys love it let me know if you're going to do a thrift flip of your own this summer um this skirt was like 250 and the top was like 250 so it was very cheap five dollar holler yes i'll see you guys in the next video Mwah. bye